Before we get into the knives, I want to show you guys this EDC tray. So, this is from Sky Raider Knives. You can find them at skyraiderknives.com if you want to get yourself one. It's made out of solid aluminum. And these are leather inserts. So, you can just, they perfectly fit. And it makes for a nice soft surface. So if you're taking apart your knife, you can take it apart. And these trays, you know, you can obviously use it so that when you want to store it or if you want to keep it somewhere. But then when you're ready to work on a knife, you can just work on it as is. Or you can move these things out of the way and open up some areas to set parts and things like that. This is for bits, which I will load it all the way up. And then this little part hangs onto your driver. Now my other drivers, some of my other drivers didn't fit. This one almost does, but not quite. Um, but this one from Monterey Bay Knives fit perfectly. And it holds it because it's magnetic, you know? Anyways, um, then you have these little trays, which you can keep, you know, whatever you use to take apart your knives and things like that. Um, I just threw a couple things in here really quick. I'm sure I'll show you guys this a little bit more. But I got my KPLs, my lubrication. Uh, I've got some Loctite, different kinds. Little flashlight right here. You just pull the cap at the back off. It goes on a keychain, so you can just pop it out and it'll work. From old light, pretty cool. I've um, got a little set of bearings right here i think these are skiffs yep skiff bearings and you know just uh, a little measuring tape here too but just some little stuff i just tossed in here i'm gonna switch it all around and, and really fill it up nicely uh but i figured i'd show you guys this i know you guys have probably seen it on a couple other channels uh but i love how he put my knees knives on there that's dope. So I'm sure he can do something like that for you guys if you guys are interested in getting something like this. But like I said, skyraiderknives.com. Definitely check them out. So here we have a pretty interesting little piece. Now this is made in Denmark. This is by Anzo. So Anzo of Denmark. And this is the Eros, I believe the name is. And there is many different versions of it that you can get. They are not affordable. Um, I believe he hand makes them. But let's check it out. So we have a little sheep's foot blade Gorgeous sheep's foot blade. This one's an RWL 34. I'm not sure if there's variations with that. I know there's variations with handle materials. This is some good looking carbon fiber, slightly contoured. Fibers look really nice. It has somewhat of a, a texture over it. And you can see it is a button lock. They have the button lock and pivot system. It looks like it's all together in one piece. Titanium backspacer. Oh, that's cool how they did the lane here. Check that out. That's actually pretty dope. Um, then we have a milled spring pocket clip. Seems pretty tight, but I'm sure it works just fine. Looks like it has a decent ramp. Action, very smooth. Great detent. Especially for a little, little knife like this, because this is compact. This is small. But, you know, it's still... I can get a full four finger grip if I go over the flipper tab. You know, I would most likely be using it like this in a pinch grip motion, but very smooth. Very, very smooth. And the flipper tab is discreet. It is minimal. It is small, but the jimping's well done and it is a little grippy. So it, the detent is like perfect for this flipper. Like all you have to do is break that detent. And it's not like it's strong. That's the thing. Like this isn't so, because it's a small flipper tab. Like it would be annoying if this was super strong. It's literally just the perfect breaking action. Really good, man. Very, very well. I bet I could reverse flick it. Oh yeah, this is an easy one. Yeah, I bet you could even do that left-handed. Oh yeah. So action is really good. TA hardware all the way around, except for the pivot and the... The clip screw, I love that. I love seeing like, was that a T15? Yeah, probably. I love seeing that. That's what I love, man. I wish they were all T15s. I like big hardware. Um, anyways, I can tell it's riding on bearings. It is so, so smooth. The spine is crowned. I just noticed that. Um, I am somewhat of a sucker for a crowned spine. It depends on the knife, but... Uh, Good geometry, sharp and tall plunge grind is well done. You can see the plunge grind starts here and it ends right here. So you have all of this life to right there from here to here before you hit the plunge grind. Good looking stone wash. 
Yeah, this is a good looking knife. I personally would love to see this in a large, maybe even XL. This would be really cool, about eight inches. Um, the size of this, just for size reference really quick, here's the Benchmade 940. A lot of people know that. You can see it's not a big knife. This is a small knife. So it'd be nice if it was maybe even just the size of like the 940, just something, you know, where it's uh, a full-size knife because this thing, man, I could just imagine the contouring of this handle, you know, in a larger version. But this is nice and discreet. It's nice and small, somewhat gentlemanly. Um, if you look, the, the flipper tab is actually crowned too on the spine of it and actually the, the face of it um, before the jimping. Lock up. Let's check that out. Mm, I feel a little side to side, but no up and down. The side to side is just the pivot. I, I'm positive on that, so I'm not going to mess with it or anything, but I could totally adjust that. Um, no up and down, which is what's important. And that's with a tiny bit of play. So I know there's no up and down if I tightened it up. Um, centering. Perfect centering. Very good centering. Um, I do like, <clears throat> before we get out of here, I do like looking at the face of the carbon fiber. I freaking love cross-cut sections of carbon fiber. To me, it's just, it's such a gorgeous look. If I could just get it on the camera. Anyways, this stuff does look like some good carbon fiber, but like I said, he's got a bunch of different versions. I'm sure I've shown some pictures on the screen. I do want to thank the person who sent this in to me because somebody from the community did send this to me to check out. And, you know, this is an expensive piece and uh, I I'm sure it's pretty difficult to get. So, you know, I'm not sure about the ones that are available right now. If they're pre-order, I think they're pre-order. Um, so you can make like one payment and then pay the rest later or something like that. But regardless, so, you know, I'm sure it took some time to get, and it is somewhat of a special piece. So I do appreciate him letting me check this out. Um, yeah, it is pretty damn cool. You guys can find his site or just, you know, just look up Anzo of Denmark and you will find these knives on his site where you can order them. Like I said, they are expensive. Um, we're talking, uh, $500 plus. A little over 500 bucks. But, you know, maybe you like Denmark knives. Maybe you like handmade knives. Uh, maybe you just want something from Anzo. Anyways, there you guys go. Work hard. Stay tough. Until next time, peace.